the Radford University series of tutorials on how to use Microsoft Excel. In this first tutorial, you will learn how to navigate to and how to open up a Microsoft Excel document. Once there, we're going to add data and begin to build it out to make it look like an actual gradebook. And then we're going to learn how to save and close our document. So to begin, we need to navigate to Microsoft Excel. I'm going to come down here to start in my left hand corner and single click that. You'll see Microsoft Excel because I've used it is already in my menu here. Some of you will have to go to all programs and then to Microsoft Office and then select Microsoft Office Excel. Okay, so now that's opened up. First thing I want to do is give a header to this document in the spreadsheet. So I need to, with my mouse, single click and hold the mouse, the cursor, over this first cell. And then with my mouse, drag it all the way over on this first line. I'm going to go over here to the T. And then I'm going to release the, the mouse. Now I can drag the cursor over here to Merge and Center. Just single click that. And now I have a header built in. I have, this is one big cell. And now I can add in the name of my header, which will be Class Grades. Okay. So now I'm going to come down here a few spaces. And I'm going to begin to name these columns. This will be student names. Now you'll see the text there is longer than the length of the cell. One way to make the cell longer is to bring your cursor up here in between the columns, single click on it, and you get this new icon. Hold it and drag it across with your mouse, release it, and you've resized the, the column. Okay, my next name is going to be grades because I have some sophomores and some freshmen in this class so I need to distinguish them. I'm going to give a space here and then I'm just going to go ahead and add in the days of the week that I'm working with. And this is April so I'm going to go ahead and call April up there. I'm going to give a space and I'm going to begin to add in the second week. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here a couple times and then I'm going to name these columns. This will be total for the total grades for each individual student. And this will be their grade, like a percentage. Okay. So now all I need to do is begin to add in the names of my students. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to do that here. Now some of you may find ways to cut and paste this in. Um, we'll go over some of that later in other tutorials. But basically what we're doing is we're trying to make this gradebook on, on the computer look a lot like our physical gradebook. And once we do that, we will be able to work with and manipulate the data on here and the, the grades. Okay, so now I've added in my names. Now I'm going to put in the grade levels that they are in. Indiana's in ninth, Helga's in tenth, so is Jim and Fantasia. Jim Bob's in ninth, so is Sierra, and Montana is back in tenth. Apple's in tenth. Diane's in 10th, so is Yvonne and Samuel and Brett. And then Mary is in 9th, Sandra's in 9th, Andy's in 9th, and then my last two are in 10th. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and begin to ent enter in the grades. And I have in my physical grade book what the grade is, but let's go ahead and say this was for a quiz. So I can label this column quiz. And the quiz was out of 50 points, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter in the raw score for each student. So he got a 30, then a 50, then a couple 40s, and then another 50, and then a 40, another 40. 
and then a 50, a couple 50s here, and they did pretty well. A couple more 40s, 50, a 40, and then we finish out with 50s. Now these are coming straight out of my actual gradebook. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this column my total points because I may want to total up say all the points for this one quiz and I also want to tell myself how many points were possible and for this quiz that was 50. That's how you add in raw data to Microsoft Excel. To end this video we need to save it and close it. So navigate up here to the left upper corner single click the icon there, scroll down to save as, single click that. It's going to save it as my documents which I like. Need to name this. I'm going to name it class grades. It's automatically saving it as an Excel document so just select save. This already exists so I'm going to select yes and it's saved. Now when I'm done I can go ahead and hit X and close this out. In this video you learned how to navigate to and open Microsoft Excel, how to add data and begin to build out a gradebook, and how to save it and close it. In the second tutorial when you open it up this gradebook will be full of grades, all the columns will be full of data. And you'll also learn how to manipulate that data, how to sum up columns, how to make averages, and how to really get into using some of the functions and features within Excel. Thank you very much for watching this video.